Hi guys, I hope that you're all having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unbagging. An unbagging because it did not come with a box, but it is a handbag from Aspinall of London. Now you guys know how I feel about Aspinall of London. I have fallen head over heels in love for this brand over the last six months to a year. And this handbag kind of seals the deal and it prompts me to want to add even more bags from this brand. Oh yeah. All right, so without further ado, let's get this show on the road, shall we? And here is, here is the dust bag that it came in. This ginormous dust bag that says Aspinall of London. I love their dust bags because they're very soft and um, yeah. So this bag, I actually ended up purchasing it on uh, on their website. Now normally I'm not too fond of going for their bags on their website just because I think that the, the shipping time takes a really long time and it did. It took 15 days for it to get to me even, even with the premium shipping if you will but it was absolutely worth it. Like, I wouldn't even be mad if it took a month to get to me. But I picked up the beautiful, hold on, wait till I tell you guys what I paid for this bag. It makes it even better. I picked up the London Totes in the T Rose Pebbled Leather. Look at this bag. This bag is enormous, and the color that you're seeing on the camera is exactly the color of the bag. I'm so excited because on the website, it actually showed up like it was a little bit more towards, not hot pink, but a little more pink and it leans more towards that mauve, not mauve, but a, a tea rose, like a legit tea rose uh, shade of uh, pink. But this bag right here, it normally retails for 880. I picked it up for $200, $265. Like, I was like, holy cow, that is a major, major savings. I am a sucker for totes, and I had been eyeing the London tote for such a long time, and when I saw it for that price, I snatched it right up. So like I said before, I didn't care if it took a month to get to me, because it was definitely worth it. And uh, the reason why it was such a low, low, low price is because it is a seasonal color. And I have noticed that uh, with the seasonal colors, as they introduce new ones, their seasonal colors end up going for lower prices. So sometimes you'll see it one week for like, for example, you'll see it back for 400 bucks. That's normally 800. Then the week after that, it'll be like 350 or 355. And sometimes they'll do 20% on top of it. I mean, I I will eat my words, all right? I was wrong. I may not be the craziest about their website, but they have some killer, killer deals compared to some of the other websites out there. But some of those other websites also get some great, you know, coupons and whatnot, but I, I majorly, majorly scored with this bag. All right, so let me, let me take everything out. Let me give you guys um, the, uh, a really quick tour of it. And I will also try to show you like what I can fit in here because, dude, I can fit my sink, your sink, everyone's kitchen sink inside of this ginormous tote. Like I, when I saw the bat, when I saw the box, I was like, oh my god! Ah! <laughs> All right, so here is a close up of this bag. Look at this leather. I've said it before. They have amazing leather, and the attention to detail on this bag is impeccable. There is not a stitch out of place. The varnish is like intact. Everything looks incredible when it comes to this bag. Okay, so uh, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe it is 17 inches. Yeah, you heard that correctly. 17 inches in length. I believe it's 10.2 inches in height, six inches in depth, and this handle drop is 7.2 inches. So you can use this as a shoulder bag. Uh, some people do end up preferring to use this as a hand carry bag, but it is extremely generous. Uh, it does not have any exterior pockets. Uh, you do have an A for Aspinall that has a signature on the side and you also have it on this side. It also comes with five feet and we love feet on a bag, right? I know I do, but you have the beautiful feet and it does feature the shields and the plaque um, on the front, the Aspinall, and then it says Aspinall of London there. And it does have that champagne gold hardware. I love their champagne gold hardware. It is absolutely beautiful. Now for the interior. 
peep it out. So you have two separate compartments. You have one zippered compartment. You have a top zippered compartment here, and then you have two slip pockets here. So when I say this bag is generous, this bag is beyond generous. So the fact that you can fit a 15 inch laptop in here, you can fit your agenda, you can fit all of your daily essentials, you can fit a scarf, you can fit a bottle of water, all of that in this bag, I think is absolutely amazing. And it does say uh, Aspinall of London, uh, England right here. But it is just, the leather is amazing and it smells, it smells so, so good. I wish there was a button and I know I say this all the time and I sound like a broken record, but I wish you guys can smell this bag. It is insane, absolutely insane. They had the Cherry Pebble. I almost got the red one, but I think that the red one looked like it was maybe a little bit more muted than what I would, than what I wanted. I wanted it to be like a bright, bright red. They also had the Olive Pebble. I almost got that, but it sold out. I have seen these pop up, even after they sell out, probably a week or two later, I see them pop up again. So. It's one of those things that I feel like you have to stock the website. If you're looking at a seasonal color, I think it's worth it to stock it just in case they pop up again and you wanna get it, especially for those prices because 265, 265 for an $880 bag with this type of leather, with these details, it's, it's insane. It was like a no brainer for me, you know? Uh, and it also, oh, I forgot to mention, it does have a little magnetic snap and the magnet, it's not like super, it's not like super, super strong. It can open up very easily, uh, but I do like the fact that it does have that magnetic closure, but check it out. So here it is on my shoulder, and I love the fact that I still have plenty of space. It's not right underneath my armpit, and since I am wearing a thicker sweater, if I was to wear a jacket on top of this, I would have no problem with fitting this over my shoulder either, so I really do like that. If you do use this on the crook of your arm, and if you do end up you know, filling it up to the brim, oh yeah, it's gonna get heavy. I will also include the weight of this bag empty, uh, just in case you guys are wondering. But I think that this would make for, are you not a fan, Theo, not a fan? <laughs> uh, I think that this would make for a fantastic work tote, just because it doesn't have a bunch of logos. You can take this off completely, and you just have Aspinall of London, uh, England, written very, very small there, so you it, it doesn't scream the brand that it is or anything like that. If anything, it screams how beautiful this leather is because it just, it's its amazing. It's absolutely amazing. You know what the, the leather that it reminds me of? It reminds me of, it reminds me of Celine's uh, pebbled leather. That's the same type of feel that it has. And it is just, oh my gosh, I just wanna keep touching it. I wanna keep <laughs> grabbing it. But um, I, I love this, I love this. Like I said, not a stitch out of place and plenty, plenty of room. Look at that. Um, but okay, so what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you guys what it looks like on me. I'll do that uh, throughout this video. But I also wanna show you guys some quick comparisons with other handbags that I have within my collection just so you have a better visual of its size. Uh, now, I also wanted to mention, um, besides the fact that it had an awesome savings uh, for the size of this tote, I had thought about the Midi London Tote. I know a lot of people love that bag as well, and I'm still thinking about it. Uh, but the reason why I didn't go for the Midi Tote, those also had some great, great savings. I didn't go for that bag because it was very similar to the Marc Jacobs Mini Tote Bag, uh, with the biggest difference that the uh, Midi London Tote is a little bit is a little bit wider than the Marc Jacobs Tote. And since I have a couple of those, I wanted something a lot larger. So that's another reason why I wanted to go for this one, just because it's a huge tote and I think that this is perfect for a work bag or a work tote. I think this would make an, for an awesome travel tote as well, just because you do have that leather and it's thick. I mean, look at this leather. It's not flimsy. 
it doesn't feel paper thin. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart or anything like that. So I, uh, I think that this is going to be, this is like a workhorse type of bag, you know? And, um, although I would, I would absolutely use this to go for like a target run or what have you, just because it's, it's so massive. I'm, it's so massive and I'm so here for it. Like I love this bag. Oh my gosh. Okay. So anyways, let's get back to the, uh, to the comparisons. So you guys have a better idea of the size. And I also wanted to include, um, what you can end up fitting in here. And I will put my laptop in here. I'll put everything. I'll speed it up so you guys can see it a little bit better as well. Originally, I was going to speed up this process, but I decided not to. All right, so this is kind of like a work edition, if you will. So if you wanted to carry your laptop, your agenda, plus your other daily essentials. So we do have quite the spread here. Uh, all right, so let's get this show on the road. First up is my MacBook Pro. Now, my MacBook Pro, I love the fact that I can actually fit it in this zippered compartment. Uh, of course, if you do have a larger laptop, you can easily fit it in the other two slip compartments. Uh, or side compartments, I should say, but check that out. If it's in there very nicely, I'm able to zip it up, no problem, and it also keeps it very secure, so I think that's amazing. Next up is the Louis Vuitton uh, GM Agenda, so I'd put this bad boy right there. Next up are my sunglasses. Normally, I wouldn't end up using a case this big. Um, I would end up going for something a little bit more slender, but again, just for the sake of showing you guys what this bag is capable of. So there we go. And then we also have a bottle of water and I'm just gonna fit this guy right in there. I still have plenty of space. I mean, look at that, plenty of space. All right, now for the other compartment, uh, the Prada nylon pouch that I would end up using for my cosmetics. There we go. The Louis Vuitton mini pochette, the Chanel zipped wallet. I think this is now called a small zip wallet. I don't know, they change the name all the time. Uh, then three other small leather goods, the Louis Vuitton round coin purse, the Louis Vuitton key pouch, and the Chanel six ring key holder. These guys I would end up fitting just right in there. Again, still have plenty of space. I'm trying to move it so you guys can see everything. And then in these two slip pockets, I would put uh, the Louis Vuitton photo album and my phone. So this guy fits in there quite nicely. Again, you have plenty of space if you wanted to carry maybe a scarf or let's say that you wanted to use this as a travel edition. If you want to take out the laptop and maybe put the magazines in here, you also have that option. I mean, like I said throughout the video, this bag is definitely a workhorse and check that out. Plenty of space, of course, it makes it very heavy because I'm carrying a lot in here, but this bad boy can fit it all. All right, you guys, so that does it for my unbagging of the Aspinall of London London Tote. Uh, let's see, I included the measurements, the weight, a, uh, a mod shot comparison to other bags as well as what this fits. Hopefully, I'm not I'm not leaving something out, hopefully not, because I wanna give you guys as much information on this bag as possible, especially if you're looking to add it to your collection. But um, I mean, with the 265 that I paid for, or even if it was full price, this bag has 100% exceeded my expect expectations. The quality that you're getting, the craftsmanship that you're getting is unbelievable for that price point. And uh, I can honestly see myself, as I said in the beginning, I can see myself going for another one of these bags bags in the future. I don't know what color to go for because they do have some beautiful colors, although I will admit that I have been eyeballing the mar the marmalade, the, the orange one. I, I don't know what it is about that shade of orange, and you guys know I do not like orange whatsoever, but that color, that in this silhouette, 
I think it just works beautifully. So I don't know. <laughs> I think this year I don't even recognize myself when it comes to some of the bags that I am that I am loving. But um, I think that this is an amazing, an amazing bag. And uh, even though I haven't necessarily taken it out for a, for a spin just yet, I think it's absolutely worth it. And I think it's going to be one of these bags that I reach for all the time, especially in those settings for work or for travel, because I think it is perfect. Absolutely. All right, you guys. So that does it for my Aspinall bag. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to give you a little bit more information. If you enjoyed this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.